we're asked to compute 4,800 or 4,800 divided by 80. And then they want us to check our answer, or they say, check your answer. So I'll first do it just the traditional long division way. And then we'll think about if there's maybe a faster way to do this, or if we could even do it in our heads. So let's just do it the traditional way first. So we have 80, and we want to divide it into we want to divide it into 4,800, into 4,800. 4,800. Or if we want to know the terminology, 80 is the divisor, 4,800 is the dividend. And the number that we get, the number of times 80 goes into 4,800, that will be, we could call that the quotient. I always get confused when I start using words like that. So we just think of it as 80 is being divided into 4,800. Now, the first thing we say, well, does 80 go into 4? No. Does 80 go into 48? No, it's bigger than 48. Does 80 go into 480? Well, that looks interesting. Let's see, 6 times 8 is 48. So 6 times 80 is 480. We could do that right here. 80 times 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 8 is 48. Or another way you could have thought about it is 6 times 8 is 48, and we have this extra 0 here. So you add the 0 right there. So 80 goes into 480 6 times. 6 times. Because we're only considering the 40, 480, we put the 6 right in, in 480's one spot, which is really the tens place. But if you just think about the 480, it's right above the 0. Now 6 times 80 is, we already saw, 480. 480. And then we can subtract, and we get a 0. And we bring down another 0. 80 goes into 0 how many times? Well, it goes into it 0 times. 0 times 80 is 0. You subtract, you get zeros, And there's nothing left to bring down, so we're done. 4,800 divided by 80 is 60. When the dividend is 4,800, the divisor, let me write these words down. This is divisor, divisor. This is dividend, dividend. Then our quotient, our quotient is 60. Now they want us to check our answer. So we just have to confirm that 60 times 80 is 4,800. So let's do that. 60 times 80. Now there's two ways you could do it. You could just literally say 6 times 8 is 48, and then it'll have two zeros here. 1, 2, that's 4,800. Or we could do it by hand. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. Then we'll put a 0 here, because we're now in the tens spot. Put the 0 here. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 6 is 48. Add all of this up, you get 4,800. So it works. A faster way would have just been to say 8 times 6 is 48, and you have 1, 2 zeros here. So 1, 2 zeros right there. Now, a quick way to th thought about 4,800 divided by 80 is to divide both of these numbers by 10 first. And just to think about it this way, what we're doing, this could be written as 4,800 over 80. Or this could be written as, let me write it down here. 4,800 over 80 could be written as 480 times 10 over 8 times 10. Over 8 times 10. 4,800 is just 480 times 10. And 80 is just 8 times 10. Now what happens here? We could view this as being equal to 480 over 8 over 8 times times this 10 up here divided by this 10. Now what's 10 divided by 10? What's anything, any non-zero number divided by itself? Well, this is just going to be 1. 10 goes into 10 one time. So we're just left with 480 over 8. So essentially, you can just knock off. If you knock, you can knock off the same number of zeros off of the divisor as the dividend. So we knock off one zero here, one zero there. It becomes 480 divided by 8. And that's an easier problem. 8 goes into 480. And you can say 8 goes into, it doesn't go into 4, so it goes into 48 six times. 6 times 8 is 48. You have no remainder. Bring down this 0. 8 goes into 0 0 times. 0 times 8 is 0. No remainder. 
And we get 60 again. So either way would have worked. This way is a little bit faster. You might be able to do it in your head. But no matter which way you do it, you get 60 as our answer, and, and we confirm that it really works.